Greetings to another video. Bite bag, bite box, they're all being put away. And before I do that, I thought I would share the five things that I take on every single bike trip that I go on because they just enhance my cycling experience. And also, I don't think it'll be long before I go away, <laughs> judging by the weather in the UK at the minute. It is atrocious. So, five things that I take. These are excluding like toolkit, all the basic stuff that you would normally take. <laughs> A bag of dates. So I always take dates so that no matter what time I get to my location, I've always got either food or a snack on the plane or the ferry or wherever I'm going. And I've also got snack for the bike if I wanna go out first thing before shops are open or before I figure out where I can actually go and get some food from. So I just always have these. They travel really well, they're really cheap, they're really tasty. I just, I just love some dates. So yeah, take a bag of dates with you. Chamois cream. I have raved about this chamois cream for years. It is still the best one that I've ever tried. And the main reason is it works well, vegan, cruelty free. It's in a tube so you can share it with your friends. You don't need to like double dip. You don't got any germs or anything gross in there. And the first ingredient is aloe vera. So it's just very soothing, really like nice and soft on your skin. You don't need a lot of it. So this tube will last literally months and months. And the thing that I also really like, it's like, it's not very, it's not greasy. Like some of the chamois creams that I've used in the past, they, you kind of have to use a lot of them. And I just don't think they're very good. Whereas this one, it almost like puts like a, a layer of, it's like a thin cream. You don't need a lot. And when you rub it in, it, it's like, you can't really feel it on, but it almost gives you like the texture of, do you put like talcum powder on your like arms or wherever you put talcum powder? It just makes it, like a smooth feeling so it just means that it's not going to chafe and you can put it anywhere and I just really really like it so that's the chamois cream. Uh, I should just say I am working with Slipstream for this year. I have worked with them before. It's not a new thing but I just love it. That's my go-to chamois cream that I've used for years and years. This is an absolute must. A little Apple Air tag. These things are so good. They are about £25 each and they've just got like a little battery in them and basically, I don't know whether they can use them on Android, um, but basically they just connect and you can put them in your, uh, I put them in my bike box and like if I've got like a travel case with me so that I always know where it is because there have been incidents, not with me, touch wood it doesn't happen, where people have lost their bike bag or the, the, um, the airline have lost them, they don't know where they are so you can always keep track of where they are. <laughs> this is very important especially if you're going away with other people that potentially snore. But I am obsessed with taking earplugs and eye masks. So these earplugs, I've tried so many different pairs and these are still the best ones. They're called Bolson. They were quite expensive. I think they were about 20 pounds, but I've had them since lockdown and they're still, although one of the ends is broken off and you have to like really <laughs> dig in to pull it out, but they are still the best ones. And an eye mask, because for me, like, on the fly, I can sleep anywhere because I have this. I have good earplugs and a really good eye mask. So I take them on all flights. And also if you're sharing a room or you're with um, friends and you're, you know, it's a bit noisy or you're in a new environment, I just think sleep is so important for feeling good on the bike the next day. So I always just sleep really well. And I think it's because I take these with me. I'll leave a link to all this below um, if you're interested. <laughs> Again, I've talked about these before. These are the shocks. These ones are the Open Run Pro. They are so, so, so good. I, again, I've used these for years and years and I've not found anything better. They're just so good. So basically they're open ear headphones. So that means you can, they're bone conduction. So they don't go in your ear. It basically means that you can still hear traffic. You can still hear the environment. You can still hear all the birds. You can still hear the little sheepies. Um, but you can listen to music or audio books or whatever you want to listen to. You can even take calls on them. I just love them they don't interfere when you have got like helmet and glasses on they just let me just put them on really quickly to show you <sighs> honestly i've used them for years and they're just you don't even realize you've got them on but they're really good also if i use them earplugs on the plane they're kind of like they are noise cancelling so all you can hear is whatever you're listening to and obviously on the bike. I use them to connect to on my computer when I'm editing videos. They're just like the only pair of headphones that I actually own and that I ever need. So 100% recommend these. I am working again with shocks this year. So just adding that in there. Um, but I love them. I absolutely love them. And again, with both these products, the things that I'm, the companies that I'm sponsored by, these are things that I would use, that I would buy regardless of any sponsorship. And I have used them when I've not been sponsored by them. So 
yeah, I love them. One thing I haven't mentioned, I've not got it in here with me, is the mech hanger, I'll just put a picture up, of the bike that you're taking away. Take your mech hanger. I guess it's kind of like part of my, my toolkit, so I've not really thought about it in a separate way, but take it, because if that breaks, if you are in, in transit, or if you are actually, when you're in transit, take it off, so don't have it attached to your frame, um, just to reduce that risk, because they are designed to snap, they're, they're just like kind of, um, they're not like, uh, they're quite soft metal, they are designed to bend, they are designed to snap, so that it doesn't snap your frame if anything happens to the rear mech. But yeah, mech hanger, take one, because there is, I would say, slim to zero chance of you finding one in the bike shop when you are away, if you don't take one with you. And I've only ever had it happen once. I was riding Lands and John O'Groats and it snapped on the first day. And luckily I had it with my bag, with, in my saddle bag. So I was able to just basically change it, put the quick link on the snap chain and be on my way. Otherwise it would have just been a disaster for the first ride. I wouldn't want to get a broom wagon on the first day of Lands and John O'Groats. So just please find your mech hanger today. If there's nothing else that you do today, or take from this video, let it be this, go and find your mech hanger now, Google it, because there's hundreds, probably thousands of them. Even the brands, um, they vary. So even, say for example, if you've got a giant avail from one year and you've got a giant avail from the year after, they still might not be the, the same mech hanger. So just go and find your mech hanger. That's it, right, I'm gonna go and pack all this stuff away now and I will see you all next video. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.